everything's changing right now. Everything's changing. And I feel confident saying that because my perception's changing. I'm having a new experience. I've been I've been meditating and um The other night, we had some music on, I think it was this Indian music, and uh, Amanda and Dominic and me, and uh, we were just meditating to it, and I had this thought, this, fe this thought of saying, rise to ascension, and I was afraid of it. I didn't I was afraid of judgment. I was afraid of what other people would think if I said it out loud. I wanted to say it. And so I didn't say it. I held it in and the words kept spinning in my mind. They just kept around and around. I kept seeing it, feeling it, thinking it, wanting to say it. And I finally just said it. Rise to ascension. And when I said it, my body reacted to it, it responded to it, it opened, everything came up, I felt everything, like, really intense, and my, felt it like, like, expanding, and my, I felt like I was gonna vomit, my body kept like, heaving, heaving, because it was fighting it. Because the body's afraid of it. And then last night, I went in the chair and I meditated by myself. And I said it again, and it started happening again. It's happening now, just thinking about it, because I'm feeling that expansiveness. And uh, on the chair, it was amazing. I mean, I really felt like I was going to vomit. Like, I felt my body, and then I started having this vision of an axe chopping into my hand right here. Over and over, and I couldn't make it stop, and I was like, stop, stop. I don't want, body, why are you afraid of this? Why are you trying to distract me? Or mind, or whatever this is, why are you distracting me? I'm not interested in, in an axe. And it would keep doing it. And then I pictured, envisioned myself eating the axe and like in four bites and then there was like no more axe after that I took it in I, I accepted I absorbed it that's interesting and then then I started picturing myself holding the axe but I wouldn't let the the entire image of the axe form so it was just me it would be me and then it would start to be an axe and then I would just I would get rid of the thought before anything would happen and this is all real this is all like happening to like it was my subconscious making this. I wasn't like building up a good story about me holding an axe. Like really, that was all happening, and I was fighting it. I was not. But at first, I was fighting it. Then I realized I had to accept it. Just allow for it. There's nothing wrong with it. It's an idea. It's a thought, like anything else. I pictured also. I pictured the axe just chopping up my whole body, and then my body reforming. But that didn't really have the effect of eating it. How strange. Um, and then I came over here to make a video um, and meditate with the video on, but as soon as I started the video, like a minute into it, I was talking about what I was going to do, Amanda and Dominic came home and I was like, well, I'm going to keep meditating with them coming in. But then Dominic was like, hey, you want, you want some food? You want some pizza? And I was like, oh, yeah. And I thought I'd meditate another day, so maybe I'll do it right now. It's just, the more you do it, the more you do it, the easier it becomes. It only seems like, I think the reason nobody meditates is because it just seems like, you know, you've never really meditated before. So it's like, uh, I don't know. But when you really do it, I don't know.
know what what it is about it. It quiets the mind. I feel it now already. And when I say I feel it, it makes it real. It's like an expansion. I'm nervous right now. I'm having images in my mind of people being like, this guy is crazy. Because it's so different than what people are used to. It's so different than what I'm used to. But and maybe, you know, maybe it's a little wild of me to put it online for everybody to watch and be a part of but like I'd rather just bring it all together than just be one one person having their individual journey isolated from all the other people I think we can all like kind of experience life at the same time whatever that means I mean there is you know there is only the same time there's only this moment that never changes it's always this this moment that exists throughout the universe, throughout all. On a molecular level, everything's the same. On a sub-molecular level, subatomic level, apparently, everything's just made of strings. I believe it. And there's no space. Space is an illusion that we see in this third dimension that we kind of live in. Live in by nature, like our bodies live in it. But there's another, there's no space. Space is an illusion. It's the same stuff everywhere just in different combinations so like the universe itself is all connected because there's no space we're not far away from stuff I mean it seems like it but we're not it's all everything's affecting everything that was an interesting tangent off from me my fear of people thinking that I'm just some crazy guy but well aren't we all just crazy people we just kind of keep it to ourselves and the people that keep it to themselves, everyone just assumes they're normal, but in reality, the people, they're keeping it to themselves, and it's like, <sighs> it's, it's wearing. Expressing it, letting it out, is growth, is, is fuck. It's the beginning. feel it. So when they talk about enlightenment, that's what they're talking about. This is it. And I just had an image. I kind of got angry at myself for saying that. Like, I'm so great. Look at me. But it's not that. It's there. There is only me. I can't think in terms of everyone because everyone can feel. I'm not, you know, I'm not, and I'm not saying I feel enlightened, but I'm feeling like a step towards that in some way I feel like this open powerful like because what happens is it like everything expands and there's no fear of anything anything in that moment in the, oh, there's no fear because there's no because I know that I am controlling everything when I even when I think a thought other than being in the meditative moment as soon as my mind would start to water wander water as soon as my mind would start to wander, Dominic would shift around, and I'd hear him shifting, and then I'd calm my mind, and everything would be calm again. And then my mind would start to wander, and Dominic, like, got up, and was talking about the music, and then I said, everything's amazing right now, or something like that, and he said, I'm so glad you guys have the patience for this, and then he calmed down, and we kept meditating. But it was all... I was making it happen with, with my thoughts. I know it sounds crazy because it sounds crazy to me anyway, but it's real. You're not controlling it, but you're influencing everything or you're affecting everything. With the negative thought cre like affects and creates a negative surrounding, immediate surrounding. And a and a I mean by negative I mean like an angry, you know, it just subsides into everything. In everything. I mean, you'll look at like this. 
or this. And you'll be like, you know, it's, it's the feeling. I was getting a little off track because I was thinking about Siddhartha, this movie, which we watched last night, Dominic and I. It was really good. And it had a lot of Buddhist uh, teachings in it throughout. But the man himself, Siddhartha, was very uh, afraid the way he lived. He isolated. Which is an issue I have with Buddhism, is that it's... What they say is amazing, except that I don't like how isolated it is. It's all about completely internal. You know, to the point where you go to a monastery to be away from the outside stimulus. I think that we can can affect all the outside stimulus and go on the path and experience enlightenment while communicating every day. And that's what we'll have to do. That's how it's going to happen. The human race is going to get together. That's how it's got to happen. It's the only way. And I have this fear that global warming is going to cause a step of evolution in humanity. And what's going to happen is global warming is just going to be out of control and it's going to kill a bunch of people and all the people it's going to kill are going to be a bunch of poor people and then it will be people with money that will be the next step of evolution and I'm not I don't like this I don't like that on the back of the dollar bill there's the Illuminati what is it and it's on the fucking money this this it, I was like dude I've never really thought about it but like And it's, it's scary to talk about it because if, if it's really what it is, if it's a secret society, I'm looking for my wallet right now. That's why I was glancing around, but I don't see it. Apparently, it's like a secret society and it controls everything. And it's on the money. And no one thinks positively or negatively of it. I never really have. I'm just like mildly interested in it. I think it's kind of cool. And it's the pyramid with the eye on top. And it's on the money. It's on the dollar bill. That is fucked up. It's on the money. So, so I see this as like a, a, a planned evolution and people are just allowing it to happen. Now, I think that we can evolve in a different way. I don't think that it has to be wiping out half the population. I think that we can connect with the internet now that we've built it. I see the potential. We can connect and overcome the conflict pat, uh, peacefully with thought money is not important money is unnecessary just get that little bit you know you have to work the body has to do work in life that's fine that's part of it you have to work so do some work make some money and then focus on evolution focus on yourself focus on your emotions watch yourself on video Examine yourself, and you will evolve. And then, then we can do anything. And people won't die. Not to laziness, not to complacency, not to money, not to, not to greed. It's, it's becoming clearer to me. Everything is becoming clearer to me. But then I, I'm still afraid. I'm afraid because I brought up my video right now. It's recording. And just seeing my face shook things. And then I was like, I'm afraid. But I'm not. Fine, let it be.